Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. I thought we'd take a look at Nyon Choi's swing today. Um, she's taught by my old coach, Kevin Smeltz, who I spent about five years with working regularly with. Um, and I think she's been working with him a similar amount of time. We used to see her practicing at the, the Ledbetter Academy in, in Orlando. You know, very hard practicer. I think I've read an interview recently with her and she said, you know, what's the one piece of advice you'd give a beginner? And she said, well, hit a thousand balls a day for a year. So that's the sort of uh, mentality she has. You know, seems very nice, very hard worker, great technique. Um, I think encompasses a lot of what Kevin and the Ledbetter ethos is about and I think really known as one of the best swings in the game. So let's take a look. Let's start on the left-hand side. Just put a couple of lines in, a hand plane and a shaft plane line. And we can put a line on her tailbone and then let's put one around her head. So let's see what happens. So I think in terms of the first movement, it's really as good as it gets. The hands track up the hand plane line, club works up the shaft plane line. The club face is very much matching the spine, which is really what we're looking for these days into a really good looking set position the shaft steep and slightly so one the left arm is in the center of the chest the middle of the body we're looking for that shaft just to point nicely inside the ball and anywhere from about here to on the ball would be an ideal it's a really good looking position see our heads move down a fraction you see that in a number of players you know club shaft left of the hands and and the club face very much square so she starts down, she's got that slight squat move, club and arms pretty much come back down the same line they went up on, slight shallowing of the club shaft, Let's take a couple of these lines off, and then continued on, you know what I really like, she's really retaining her tail position, her head staying in place so the, the spine angle relative to on a camera is really retaining its position and then she comes very close to sort of playing the shaft at impact you can see the the hands and the club shaft are slightly higher at impact than a dress but very similar you know really good left side is cleared left leg straightening quiet right foot and then a free release under a left armpit and all the way through so you know it's a very simple movement i think she won the us open last year you know one of the best ball strikers out there let's take a look from front on so you know really simple orthodox looking grip ball position in the middle of the ankles which we're looking for for sort of seven six iron now we're just going to draw a line on the edge of her head and one up from her hip and these were lines i know kevin was always Placing on with me, we're looking for one that hand sort of passes the pocket, the club shaft be horizontal to the ground, left arm horizontal to the ground, it's a nice looking L shape, it's a classic sort of setting position, and she stays relatively centred where the swings sort of moved in these last 10 years, there used to be sort of more of a move off the ball, you're seeing less of that, now she has this nice strong hip move, I remember Kevin was always talking about see the edge of her hip there getting back to this line by the time the left arm was horizontal which has happened there head slightly forward of where it started and now that will retain in position or just move back a fraction you know, nice shaft lean at impact create this nice straight line about three centimeters past the ball which we're looking for and then a nice release of the shaft and everything keeps turning and moving through. 